guys, so today I'm doing a what's in my beach bag video and I actually got a lot of comments on my Instagram and on Twitter um, because I posted a picture of my beach bag when I went to Raging Waters in San Dimas this past Saturday so I got a lot of comments and I wasn't even going to do one but I thought it would be fun just to show you what I packed in it so I would feel prepared and I was prepared. So. First of all, I got major tan lines, and I know you can't even tell. So the beach bag that I have, and that I've been currently using uh, for the past uh, spring, summer, is this one by Betsy Johnson, and I love that it's humongous. It fits so many things in here. I mean, literally, you can f you can fit a lot of stuff in here, so which is one of the reasons why I love it. And I love that it's Betsy Johnson, and it has... Um, cute little flower, so it's very feminine. So um, this is totally my kind of beach bag. And I am just going to start by taking out things from here and then just start showing them to you. Because I um, I was going to wear my bathing suit for this just because I was like, you what's in my beach bag and then you wear your bathing suit. So I am actually going to show you the bathing suit that I picked up from Target. And this is the one piece I typically like two piece bathing suits because I don't really find a lot of one-piece bathing suits that are really like flattering. I mean sometimes I feel you you might feel like you're way too covered up or some of them are not really that cute looking. So I ended up getting this bathing suit which I totally love. I love it and it's actually a little bit padded so if you need a little bit of support um, you can definitely take them out just kind of rip it underneath or you can actually wear it and it gives you lift and support and it also makes your hips look smaller and it makes your tummy look a lot flatter so when you first um, put it on it's actually very tight you feel like it's not going to fit you but once you have it on it just sculpts your body so nicely and it looks like you've shed like 10 pounds instantly it really does and you don't see any bulges it's nice and slim it's really such an amazing deal that I got for this um, bathing suit and I'm actually really excited about it. I ended up going for the turquoise one that they have um, also but I'm actually going to return it because they're both small but that small in a turqu uh, in a minty, turquoise, teal, whatever um, it's actually a little bit bigger and I'm not sure why because it's not this is not an extra small it's just a small and the other one was a small as well so the black one uh, fit me great and the other one I have to return even though it's a really cute color. Um, so next Obviously, you have a towel because I need to have a towel so you can dry, uh, so you can dry myself, so I can dry myself. Um, and I also have this scarf, and this is a scarf. I believe I either got it at Target, not Target. Oh, actually, it might be from Target. Um, I was gonna say Target or Zara, but I think I don't think Zara makes the ones that are really this thin. But it's um, it's actually a scarf, and I wore it on my hips, just kind of like a little wrap. Um, and I actually went to Raging Waters with my bathing suit on and then I had this around my hips and I had a t-shirt over it when I first walked in because I don't want to be in a full out bathing suit walking in so this was just to cover myself up and I don't know and I also have my sunglasses that I told you guys I love these are from American Apparel and I have to have some sort of shades because I don't wear any makeup except um, waterproof, but I'll get into that later, but I basically don't have any makeup on and I need to cover up my eyes um, Especially when I get there because I had just woken up like at you know 7 in the morning and we got there at 8 30 or whatever and I I was looking all swollen and my eyes were red so I wore some sunglasses just to cover up my eyes and I actually really like these these are um, from American Apparel, but I love that they're not round they're kind of you know, really nice squared off edges. So these fit my frame, my face really well because um, sunglasses don't really go with me. Like I also have sandals and these are the sandals that I wore to Raging Waters. Um, not the whole time, but when I walked in there and then when I left. These are really comfy, these are from Target. These look a lot like the Dolce Vita sandals. Also, Target has some loafers in a mint color that I've um, Instagrammed before, and then I went to Nordstrom and I saw Dolce Vita had the exact same loafers, so yeah. 
these are really cute and super affordable if you know you don't want to splurge on the Dolce Vita ones. Next, I have my camera, and this is a Nikon. I was gonna say Canon. This is the Nikon um, one, and it's just a small camera that I wanted to carry. I didn't want to carry a big SLR, but I wanted a camera so I can take good quality pictures of my family and Isaac and just everybody, friends, um, and. Yeah, so took this one. The cool thing about this camera is that you can change the lens. Um, you know, it zooms in and out. This is a really awesome camera. And I actually wasn't a big fan of it for a while because I thought the quality sucked. But I actually fixed the settings and it works like a pro now. So I am really obsessed with this again. And I was almost really close to returning this camera because um, it's a little bit expensive. But I'm actually really happy with it now. So really cute and it's pink, one of my favorite colors. Um, next I have sunscreen. This is really important because obviously, you know, I got sunburned. But the reason I got sunburned is because I didn't reapply sunblock. If you're going to be out in the sun, you have to reapply it every two hours. And I only put it on one and I got on a bunch of rides and I never put it on for the rest of the day so that's my fault um, I definitely did reapply the one on my face because I didn't want to get super tanned in my face but I did want to get a nice even tan because the week before that I had gone to the lake and I got one sun sunline if you can see this one which is pretty obvious and then um, I kind of evened out a little bit on this trip to Raging Water so this is the L'Oreal um, sunscreen with SPF 30. I also have the SPF 50, but um, this is ultra water resistant. When you first put it on, it can be a little thick and it, it, it will look really white if you just go directly into the water, but you have to leave it in for at least 15 minutes before you dip into the pool or the beach or anywhere else. So, um, yeah, I love this. And I also have this Kodak um, waterproof camera, which has a lot of pictures. Um, and we got this one just so I can have it in my wrist and take pictures on actual rides um, getting wet. So it's waterproof and um, I'm not sure how much these are, but these are definitely worth it. God, there's this ride at Raging Waters, which I was so scared. I'm still scared of it. I didn't even get on it. But my sister Wendy, she's such a daredevil. She and uh, my husband actually got on the ride. And it's basically a very, it's like a slide that's almost vertical. Like you go in and then you, you drop really fast. And it's really high and um, it's just really scary. I can't believe my sister got on it, but she did. Um, anyways, I don't know what the point of that was. Well, I was, I was going to tell you a story, but then my uh, battery light, it's flashing now. So it's telling me this is going to die. So next I have a little makeup bag and it contains products that I used. It doesn't have uh, full-on face makeup products, um, but I basically have uh, makeup cleansing towelettes just to kind of wipe my face from the chlorine or from anything else from dirt. I wipe it and then I reapply a fresh coat of um, sunblock. So this is why I keep them and I did use uh, waterproof makeup just um, eyeliner and mascara that's all I had on and a little bit of chapstick so um, just in case it was running this was really great to have the sunblock that I ended up using for my face is this ultra sheer liquid daily sun protection it's very light it doesn't leave your skin oily and it's great to wear it under makeup or on top of makeup this is a really awesome product so it's by Neutrogena and this one I like for my face so this is what I wore and um, I also have moisturizing lotion for my face this is by Eclaus. It's a plant-based beauty moisturizer, and um, it's one of my favorite moisturizers, actually. So I keep that just to refresh my face. Also, I took one of these baby lips, uh, lipstick slash lip, lip um, I don't know, chapstick? It's not chapstick. You know, lip balm, that's what I mean. So it's tinted lip balm, just to give my lips a nice little tint. And this one is actually Cherry Me. So this is the one that I took because it did give me a little bit of a tint. Um, I also took for my hair, um, this is the Create Smooth Anti-Frizz Volumizing Serum that I included in my last um, favorites video. I actually just took some of this after I changed and I put some on my tips. And then I did whatever was left over on the top and I pulled it back up in a bun and it was nice and smooth. And it wasn't all dry and it just helped replenish my hair. So... That's really cool. I also took a um, headband. This one is from Target and it has like plastic here so it doesn't slip and slide. I also took some scrunchies and um, oh, the eyeliner. This is the eyeliner that I wore. It's by Milani and this is a waterproof eyeliner in um, Infinite. 
So the whole time, no matter what I was doing, I had a really nice blue line and mascara, so I wasn't like full on, like I just woke up, you know, I had a little bit of makeup, but it was waterproof, so I didn't have that problem where my makeup was running, so... Um, yeah, that's basically all I took on my trip to Raging Waters, and this is exactly what I have when I go to the beach or when I go to the lakes. If you guys want to do a what's in your beach bag video, you guys know I would love to see a video response to this video, and you can also check out dulcecounty.com, which is my fashion website, and my Twitter, my Instagram, Facebook, where else am I? I'm, I'm everywhere on social media, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!